All right, what's up guys? Muley Freak Eric here. In today's video, we're gonna go over three tips of anchoring with a thumb release. And we have tip number one here with Kyle Douglas. What's up, Kyle? What are we doing here for tip number one? So tip number one, we're going to shoot at a blank bail rather than aim at a target. Anytime you're working on form, it's easier to first start with a blank bail. And then that'll you can get your muscle memory down and get the form down pat before you ever put a target up and worry about aiming. Gotcha. So you don't want to be worried, you don't want to be having that stress in your mind of trying to aim at a certain place. You just want to be able to hit that bell, focus on um, your form. Yep. Yeah, it's way easier to focus on form at a blank bell target. Okay, perfect. All right, so tell us about tip number two. Yeah, so for tip number two, we're going to want to anchor right on your jawbone here. You don't want to be up into your ear, back into your neck, meter up on your cheek. If you can get bone on bone contact here, that's going to be a lot more consistent than if you're anchoring off of a muscle or something like that. So I'm going to take the first two knuckles in my hand here um, and I'm going to split those right on the corner of my jaw. I'm going to put the back of my hand at about a 45 degree angle from my face and just anchor right up against my jawbone there. That's going to give me a good solid bone on bone contact and it's going to be very repeatable from shot to shot. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to go ahead and knock an arrow. I'm going to really focus on that 45 degree angle and hitting the corner of my jaw and splitting the two knuckles right there so get that bone on bone contact. All right, so so that felt pretty good. Bone on bone contact came. I felt pretty con I felt pretty good with where I was anchored. I'm gonna go ahead and try that again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and everybody will like to do it just a little bit differently. So you just need to figure out what's comfortable for you and what you can repeat from shot to shot. The main focus being being able to be consistent, and repeatable every single time. Yeah. So get to a spot that you can do it the same every time. Get to something that's comfortable that you can do every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that felt pretty good. good. Yeah. Okay. Now that we got that, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that. I'm gonna go ahead and try it a couple more times. So I think the key here is to get in here and and practice. Mm -hmm. Like get comfortable with it so it becomes muscle memory, becomes second nature almost. Yeah. Nothing's gonna beat repetition when it comes to things like this, working on form and anchor points. How's that? It looks pretty good. Okay, Kyle, so now that we kind of have tip number two, what's tip number three? So tip number three is gonna be just minimalizing the face pressure on the string. Anytime you're, you're digging that string into your cheek here, it's gonna be really hard to be repeatable from shot to shot. And you're gonna be inconsistent on how hard you dig your cheek in. So the less amount of face pressure you can have on the string, the better. If you can get it completely away from your face here and just barely touch the tip of your nose, and then the string won't touch your face anywhere else will be the best case scenario. So if you get if you get guys that are like digging that into your their face and, and, and their nose, how can that affect your shot? So you're gonna see a lot of inconsistencies in lefts and rights on their shot. It can also be a big factor when you're trying to tune your bow. If you're digging your face into the string, it throws your string all out of whack and you'll get weird tears coming out of your bow when you're trying to tune gotcha. it as well. Okay, so we're gonna shoot a couple more times, focusing on that bone on bone with, with, with tip number two. And then we're gonna to try to apply tip number three consciously to make sure there's, you know, minimal string uh, pressure, if any, none. Mm -hmm. We're going for none. And just trying to get that tip of the nose on the string. Yep, Cut. exactly. Felt pretty good. Yeah, so what your you string think? likes to touch your face just a little bit. A little bit. Um, and different people are gonna have different forms, so some people struggle to get their face away from the string a little more than others. Um, but it's just very lightly touching into your cheek. So not enough to throw off the shot left or right? Not necessarily, no. If you change it from shot to shot, it will, yes. Gotcha. That was almost not on my face yeah, at all. Yeah, that one looked good. It was just very lightly brushing against your cheek and that's perfect. Cool. All right, guys, these three tips for anchoring with a thumb release are not only gonna make you a better archery hunter, but a better archer in general. Step number one, get a blank bell. Step number two, get that bone on bone contact in the, in the corner of your jaw. Step number three, don't dig the string into your face.
Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like this video, leave us a comment.